Hey Racer X, I'm Kyle Gills. We'd like to welcome you guys to Boise, Idaho, where we're here at our home office of WPS Fly Racing. Proud to have you guys here and we're here to give you a little tour. So right before we walk you guys inside the building, we want to kind of show you some of the perks of outside the building in case you're just having a long day and want to get out and, sh and uh, sharpen up your short game a little bit. You're more than welcome to come out here and putt. There's also a chipping mat so we can take advantage of that what you don't want to come out here and find is Craig Shoemaker the owner and CEO of the company because uh, he will talk you into betting some money and chances are you'll probably lose so stay away from Craig on the putting green all right now that we had a little fun on the putting green let's go inside here to the main entrance and uh, see what kind of fun we can get into so now that we kind of made our way inside our first stop is going to be right here to the marketing department Obviously you guys are with Racer X, so we'd like to show you guys what happens down here in the marketing department. This is our 2017 and a half mesh gear our, from our Kinetic lineup. And all that's kind of happening here. There's guys working on websites, there's guys working on ads, videos, photo shoots, uh, all, all the above. So everything that we kind of do print media wise, it all kind of takes place right here and, uh, and beyond. So as we're here, before we leave the marketing department, here's some of our prized possessions, some of our favorite cover shots that we've had actually that landed on the cover of Racer X. Here you're looking at Trey Kennard. We kind of double dipped here with Western Pike up in the corner too. And then we also have Martin Davalos over here on the side. All right, so now we landed in the photo room. We just passed marketing. Uh, this is where the video and photos kind of happen, to where the marketing department gets all their assets in order for ads, magazines, all of our videos, websites, et cetera. So uh, here you're looking at videos. All these guys are getting ready to go out and shoot our 2018 product uh, next week. So it's a busy time around here for sure. So we'll try to get out of their hair. So right here behind us is kind of the top secret room. So we're going to kind of just briefly wiggle our way through here. I'm not sure if I got completely 100% clearance to get through here. So I'm going to go ahead and t punch in a code on this keypad. Make sure you're not looking. So luckily they didn't change the code on us to get into the top secret room here. Um, here's kind of where everything goes on behind the scenes for fly racing. Uh, anything from new gear, new product, new development. There's a bunch of guys in this room. They're bouncing ideas off of each other. This is really the brainchild for everything that we do fly racing, whether it be on the moto side, BMX, uh, fly street, our fly street line, uh, snow, uh, even our, a lot of our watercraft stuff gets done in here. So this is really where everything that you see and touch that's fly racing, it all starts from an idea right here. So. So we made it over to the helmet wall of the Fly Racing Design Room. Here you'll see a bunch of different models and features behind us. You're looking at some of the mountain bike helmets, some of our street line. RF2 Carbon is our flagship model here at Fly Racing. This is what we put a lot of our um, top level athletes in. Trey Kennard, Andrew Short, Weston Pike. Those guys are on the, all in this helmet. These guys all have a replica helmet. This is Trey's here. They're all, all their helmets are equipped with MIPS, which is the latest safety technology um, as far as multi-direction impact system. It's always hard developing and coming up with new ideas in the helmet world. I mean, these guys down here are working on projects two, three years down the road uh, that we don't even know about or hadn't even seen about yet. So staying on top of the game is definitely important in the helmet world, and it's what we've done here with our F2 Carbon. And there's, like I said, there's other models here behind us, whether it be for mountain bike, for fly street line as well. So we're thankful to have each and every one of these guys in the room. So now that you've kind of seen the marketing department, you've seen the photo and video room, we got access into the top secret fly room. Now we're kind of over here. He's not really here right now, so we're taking advantage of his space. But Max Steffens is our pro race support manager. He deals with all the athletes. He's there at each and every Supercross, each and every single outdoor national, delivering gear to these guys, cleaning helmets, washing helmets. Uh, he's a big part of what we do here and taking care of our athletes. He has more going on than uh, most of you guys have known. I'm sure you guys have seen him out at the racetrack. He's always, he's always running wide open. Here he has a couple helmets, and uh, this is actually the Pike replica that he has from, from one of Weston's crashes. Thankfully, Weston was okay, didn't have any head injuries, kind of like what we were talking about back in the helmet room. Here you see some customized seven deuce deuce uh, boots that Max actually took away from, from Adam because he didn't want him to wear them because we didn't produce that color. So one of the benefits with Max being out the office, we kind of get to dig through his stuff. So here's a cool shorty jersey that we came across that we'll probably give to you guys at Racer X. And uh, Andrew's a big part of what we still do here at Western Power Sports and Fly Racing, uh, as he's now a Fly Ambassador for us. So we're always happy to have Andrew Short around. So here at Fly Racing, we're also more than just helmets and gear, uh, fighting for the latest and greatest in that world as well. Uh, but we also have a whole team, a whole department developed uh, to doing nothing but developing hard parts. So whether it be from our high-end sprockets, 
uh, to our new leaf foot pegs that we just designed, uh, our tri-pivot fly racing lever that you see here, whether it be handlebars, grips, sprockets, levers, uh, it all kind of takes place here. So there's a lot more going on to fly racing than just helmets and apparel. So we've made it deep back into the warehouse now. This is where Max Steffen spends a lot of his time uh, printing jerseys, sorting out all the gear, getting ready for the next race. Here's one of the latest Sean Simpson jerseys. Uh, Sean's our MXGP rider with our involvement in MXGP. So Max is always out here. If he's not at his desk, you can always find him out here getting gear ready for the weekend. Let's, let's take a look and see what Max has here to work with. Uh, we've got some Rocky Mountain RM logos for our boys over there, Blake Baggett. Um, Davey Millsaps here is uh, Mark Markoff. He's also going to be a part of that team. Looks like Max has some Bubba Burger stickers. I'm not sure where he's hiding the burgers, but he's got the stickers. He's being a little selfish. So there's a bunch of stuff that Max utilizes in here to get everybody ready for the weekend. So now that we're out here in the warehouse, we've seen kind of all the things leading up for fly racing. We've seen the race support program, the design department. What really is important is all that kind of makes this work back here. This is our warehouse. This is where we stock everything. So this is one of six warehouses that we have. We have them spread all across the country from Pennsylvania to Indiana to Tennessee, Texas, Boise, California. The Boise office is the largest since we are here at the headquarters. This one's roughly a little over 250,000 square feet. But collectively, between all of our warehouses, we're looking at roughly around a million square footage. So back here, the warehouse is huge. Obviously, there's four different levels. Orders start on the top and then they work their way down and, and we'll get out to the packing station in a second where you can see everything is boxed up and sent out to the dealers. So this is a really impart, important part of what we do, keep these guys uh, busy out here and it takes all of what you've seen so far to make that happen. So right here behind me, as you can see, we have orders going out. There's thousands of orders that go out of here a day. The good thing about having six different warehouses is we can utilize or get to all of our dealers in one to two days max with overnight shipping, two-day shipping uh, at no additional cost because we have so many warehouses spread out across the state. So this is all the new latest and greatest fly gear heading to a dealer. So make sure you be sure to stop in and check it out. So we've kind of been all around the office here. We made our way upstairs now. This is a very kind of a social point for a lot of people. We're in the cafe kind of lunch area room. There's a lot going on up here from time to time. Uh, different departments have different schedules, so you'll see people kind of come and go throughout the day. Uh, you guys have made me talk a lot, so I'm gonna grab some of this here. There's also stuff here that if you forget your lunch, you can get a salad, you can get some fruit cups, you can get uh, burritos or whatever that it is. So over there is the stuff that's not so healthy for you, the candy bars, and but we have all this here. You can utilize it and then you just swipe your card and pay for it, no difference than if you were at a grocery store. So um, in the mornings, Craig does have a, basically a continental breakfast set out for us every morning that's free of charge. So we can grab cereals, bagels, toast, and uh, all get fully charged up before we go uh, have a day's worth of work. We've walked all around the warehouse. We've walked all around fly, fly racing. We now got us some food. Time to work it off here in the gym. A lot of people utilize this. Uh, it's a big part of my program. I'm in here before work and typically I'll come in here on my lunch break too. We have stuff from uh, treadmills, ellipticals, bicycles, and basically everything that you need for a full body workout, whether it be arms, shoulders, back, legs. Uh, there's stairs over there just on the other side of the basketball court. The basketball court, we utilize that a lot, especially in the winter time. Uh, when there's not much to do rather than getting up on the mountain, we'll have three on three tournaments after work. So this is a, uh, a spot that not people not a lot of people get to take part in as far as you know having a gym available at their work so we take advantage of this as much as possible and uh we're very thankful for it because we don't want to lose that privilege so uh i have got some hoops to shoot so i'll catch you guys in a bit So we're back here in the race trailer. Uh, we utilize this trailer to go do photo shoots, a lot of different things. Uh, here it has some of our toys in it. We're going to go show you the shop here in a minute, but we wanted to show you kind of Colton Hacker's bike. Well, you may think it's kind of one of his bikes, but we've added some different stuff to it. Um, when the Enduro Cross team was here in town, uh, the whole Rockstar Husqvarna uh, team, they came by, utilized our shop for a couple days before they made it onto the uh, over there to the event. They threw on some of uh, Colton Haker's plastics and uh, graphics for us with our partnership with their with them. So we kind of made our way into the big t uh, toy shed, race shop, whatever you want to call it. Um, here we utilize, uh, we keep a lot of the bikes that we have here for the company. Uh, probably my favorite benefit of working at WPS and fly racing is we get to utilize the, the full-on moto track that we have outside. Uh, we're getting ready to take part in a ride day. Ride day. 
Uh, we hosted one thanks to our friends coming in town from uh, Racer X, gave us a good excuse to prep the track and get ready for a ride day. So back here, you'll see a variety of different bikes. Obviously, we're not going to be riding the Husky as it still has a snow bike kit on it. Uh, back here, we do have a bunch of different gear when we do have vendors and we do have uh, media in town or whether it be, we utilize a lot of it for our new rep training when our new reps come into town. So uh, whether they bring their own gear or not, we have gear here for them. Uh, gear, helmets, bikes, boots, everything's geared up, good to go. We just got to put some fuel in these things before we hit the track. So we're getting ready to take part in our ride day here that we have during our lunch break. This happens quite a few times throughout the riding season. We've got guys from all different departments. That's one thing that we really pride ourselves on is everybody here is a true enthusiast, whether it be moto, mountain bike, or even a street bike for uh, Harley for our V-Twin division. But here we've got a couple guys from inside sales. We've got a couple different brand managers out here that we have in charge over certain brands. Guys are just rolling in left and right. I'm looking around here. I see somebody from uh, IT. I see some uh, two different people from the uh, design department. Uh, there's another one rolling in from uh, order entry. So there's a bunch of us here. Uh, it's one thing that we pride ourselves on. Like I mentioned, that we're all just true enthusiasts, and we're blessed and thankful that we have a, a spot to take advantage of on our lunch break.